10 cool facts about African gray parrots. These birds are one of the most intelligent animals ever studied and are unmatched in their ability to mimic human speech. Today, we learn how they survive in the wild and what makes them such a popular exotic pet. My name is Chris and welcome to Animal Science TV. Fact 10, chatterboxes. In captivity, African gray parrots are often heard repeating the sound of loud objects around them. They can mimic a ringtone, microwave beep, or toilet flush. Some African greys can also sing short snippets, like the theme song from your favorite TV show. I've even seen one trying to sing Stairway to Heaven. But most impressive is the African gray parrot's ability to copy the human voice. They can even associate contextual meaning with the words that they learn. They can follow vocal commands and express emotions. For example, when Alex the parrot was taken somewhere uncomfortable, he was able to say, want to go back? In nature, parrots use this audio mimicry to establish their own local dialect. By listening, a parrot can tell if another belongs in their territory or not and their social intelligence allows them to communicate detailed information, such as location, presence of a predator, food discovery, distress, or safety status. In the wild, African gray parrots are playful and very, very loud. They often entertain themselves by chatting with friends or sharing any cool new sounds they heard during the day. Nine. Brainy birds. The African gray parrot has the mental and emotional intelligence of a four to six year old human. They can even mix and match words. Alex the parrot was taught the two words, banana and cracker. But what will he say when presented with a dried banana chip? Well, he drew from his vocabulary and invented a new word, banana cracker. In the lab, African gray parrots demonstrated that they can understand concepts like bigger or smaller, same or different, basic math, and sharing. Eight, mystery solvers. Here are two incredible examples of African gray parrots using their unique skills to pass along very important information. In Japan, a lost African gray was rescued on an urban rooftop by police. It had no identification, so the police started investigating who the owner could be. But they didn't have to look long because the parrot told them the answer. In Japanese, it said, I am Mr. Yosuke Nakamura. And after a few days, Yosuke also said his home address. Police looked up the address, and indeed, the home registered there was to the Nakamura family. In the USA, Bud's owner was found shot dead on the floor. The parrot kept repeating a heated argument between two people that ends with, don't shoot. The African Grey was mimicking his owner's voice when he repeated the words, don't shoot making it obvious that this was not a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Prosecutors considered using the parrot as an eyewitness in court, but it wasn't necessary. I feel bad for Bud. He's depressed and constantly replaying the murder of his favorite human over and over in his head. Seven, an exotic habitat and appearance. African gray parrots are native to equatorial Africa and are spread across 23 countries. They prefer living in dense rainforests near rivers and lakes, but sometimes they are found in the savanna and have been spotted in 2,200 foot highlands. There are actually two different species, a fact which went unrecognized by ornithologists until 2012. The most notable differences are that the Timne gray parrot lives further west than the Congo gray parrot, 
and the Timnae is slightly smaller with a less colorful tail. Both species feature many shades of gray, yellow eyes, and signature red tails. Males and females look quite similar. They certainly do not display the extreme sexual dimorphism we see in birds like the peacock and mallard duck. Adults are one foot tall, but only weigh a single pound because they have hollow bones. 6. Safety in numbers. Hatchlings and uh, eggs can't fly, so they make easy meals for animals like monkeys, pythons, jaguars, and large birds of prey. Adults can swarm and fight off predators with their sharp beaks and talons, but the number one defense is to fly away. African gray parrots are subject to ambush predators while scavenging on the ground. As a prey animal, if an individual parrot is surrounded by thousands of friends, it has only a teeny chance of being singled out by a stalking cat. Alone, the cat would have no other targets but that individual. It's better you than me. That's why African gray parrots live in large, noisy social colonies called flocks, which contain hundreds or even thousands of individuals. In a flock, Parrots can use their excellent communication skills to look out for one another. In nature, parrots are quite jumpy, and a single warning could scatter thousands. Flock members also take turns feeding. Half will eat, while the other half stands guard, waiting its turn. These flocks are further broken down into smaller units called broods. A brood is a group of siblings from the same breeding attempt. Roosting in large numbers helps keep the parrots safe from predators at nighttime. Birds can sleep with one eye open, allowing them to rest one half of their brain at a time. 5. Fruit Lovers The African gray parrot's favorite food in the wild is oil palm fruit. These oil palms are like normal palm trees, but they don't grow coconuts. African greys also love tree bark and cola nuts. It's dangerous, but sometimes African greys scavenge food off of the ground. Nuts, seeds, and the rare insect or snail are on the menu for protein. In captivity, they can survive on bird feed, but African grey parrots will be much happier with apples, bananas, cucumbers, peas, or green beans. 4. High up homes and good dads. Not only do gray parrots like to eat oil palms, they nest in them during breeding season as well. Gray parrots will only nest in trees over 30 feet tall and only in ones with good hiding spaces. A hole in a trunk is the best, and a breeding pair may even steal the home of smaller birds like the woodpecker. African gray parrots are very picky and require a tree all to themselves when it's baby making time. The female lays two to five eggs in the nook and incubates them for one month. She does not leave the nest for this entire time and relies on the male to bring her food. New hatchlings spend the next three months in the nest growing feathers and learning to fly. During their development, Mom and Dad both take turns feeding, protecting, and teaching survival skills. The chicks eventually leave the nest, but usually join the family brood and begin building social connections. After three years, the babies form monogamous breeding pairs, and the cycle repeats. In African gray parrots, the male is notably much more helpful than in other species of birds where the males sleep around. 3. Not a beginner's pet. African gray parrots are popular because of their social behavior and the entertainment value provided by their mimicry. But with a 50 to 80 year lifespan, an African gray parrot likely will outlive you. In nature, parrots lead complex lives within the flock. Their social, play, and exercise needs will take quite a bit of work to be met in captivity. 
Do you have an African gray parrot at home or another bird? Let me know how closely you have bonded and if you recommend them as pets. Two, the international trade ban. According to researchers, Ghana has lost 90 to 99% of its African gray parrots since just 1992. Across Africa, about 21% of the population is trapped every year. In Congo, locals will cut down trees to grab hatchlings and they will catch adults with a glue covered pole. More than half of the captured parrots die on their way to market. So it isn't surprising that in 2016, gray parrot exports were banned internationally. And in 2018, the animal was listed as endangered. But rules are made to be broken. And at a price of $1,000 plus per bird, the trade will not be stopped entirely. Poaching is pretty detrimental, but the worst problem is probably deforestation. The logging industry prefers to cut tall trees, so African gray parrots are having a harder time finding suitable trees to reproduce in. But not all is doom and gloom. And one, not the way of the dodo. African gray parrots have a few advantages over other endangered animals. First, they can fly, so populations are not isolated by structures like roads and fences. The famous expression, to go the way of the dodo, refers to a bird that went extinct in the 1600s. Dodos only lived on one island and were flightless. Second, they live in 23 different countries. Some countries are already enforcing trapping regulations and launching conservation efforts. The wild African gray parrots will eventually find safe haven in some of these 23 countries. Third, with international trade banned, more and more breeders are popping up. If local breeders can satisfy the exotic pet demand, poaching will be less profitable and the wild African gray parrots will be safer. The African gray parrot is such a wonderful animal. Its intelligence, social skills, voice mimicry, and beauty all make it too popular for its own good. You can watch more cool animal fact videos in this playlist up here. I also do a one-on-one -on -one science education series. If you're a subscriber, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching Animal Science TV.